Okay, everybody. Um, so, th in this video here, we'll be talking about setting up your mic to FL Studio. Um, so, first off, what you're going to need is a microphone. I have right here a Miano USB microphone. Seems to be working pretty well. I have noticed a lot of high pitch latency issues with it being too close to the computer. Um, and how I fixed that was I just turned it away from the computer to the point where there's no electric magnetic frequency oscillating close by that is causing the sound to be dispersed in a high-pitched fluency of distortion. So after you have your mic out, make sure it's either USB or audio interface. I'll be talking mostly about USB in this video, not an audio interface microphone. But what you want to do is you want to open up FL Studio. You're going to want to plug your mic in to your computer, USB. Um, go over to your mixer. Um, I don't like to keep it on master. If you guys can keep an eye on my mouth so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, the master track, always go to insert one or an empty insert. After you've done that, you should go to options, audio settings. Now for device, there's a list on Osseo devices. FL Studio Osseo is what I do, is what I use. And the reason why I use FL Studio Osseo is because Osseo for All does not compute with sound devices. If it did, then it would be open for it, but it doesn't. FL Studio Audio is what you want. So after you've clicked on FL Studio Audio for device, you should look down to buffer length 256 SMP 6MS show Audio panel in green. Click on that you'll have this screen that pops up saying FL Studio Audio V1 period 04 buffer length. Now, it, usually it sets itself to 512. I've set mine to 256. Just because of my mic, it's a $100 mic. So the length of the buffer has to be a little shorter. Then for input, you're going to want to click on your microphone, microphone USB condenser microphone, which is mine. Output, which would be the speakers. Output as in sound being outwardly put it. So you'll, you'll want to pick your speakers for that one. Mine are Realtek R Audio. You should know what speakers you have. Um, generically, the brand name will be what you choose. And after you've done that, make sure this hard clip output at 0 dB, otherwise, limiting will be Apple, is checked off. And after you've done that, you can close that. And <clears throat> that should be it for the settings. So click exit. 
And remember we were talking about the mixer track and how we inserted it onto one? Well, the reason why is because when we hit notes on our mixer, we don't want them interfering with the master track. Like we don't want them to be playing when we're recording. So insert one, you'll see where my mouse is right now, how it just hovered over that yellow symbol. Well, if you scroll over and you see the word none, you're gonna wanna click that and scroll down to FL Studio Audio Mono. And you're going to wanna click in one. So click in one. You've selected an external output. Do you want to switch to external out input only to avoid recording internal audio on this track? Yes. You can also click don't ask this in the future. And there, there we go. go. Your, Your mic, mic should, should be working. working. It, it should, should be connected. connected. If you, if you look, look on insert, insert one, one you will see, see the bar of, of your voice talking. That, that means it's, it's working. And if you've done every step that I show you to do on how to get, get it up and running. So, fiddle, fiddle around. around. There's not much fiddling to do, but it's straightforward and that that's one, one basic step of FL Studio to get you working on your producer tracks. tracks.